we are in the garden. I think you'll be amazed at how many we get in the garden. We'll to see what butterflies we can actually see today. There's absolutely hundreds earlier. Straight away. A small tortoise shell. Yeah, it's one of the best butterfly plants for this time of year. And there's another one. What a gorgeous, gorgeous butterfly like this. We're going to zoom out. And the wind's blowing. Please bear in mind this is a windy, windy day. And the butterflies are all around me now. There's another one still on the Estrance here. Right there. We can find that round, another one in the stance here, and then we've got us some sweet William down there. The butterflies love this sweet William, he's just flown off there. We've gone on to the scabious. are still buzzing around its companion. Let's have a look and see if we've got as many butterflies as we did earlier. Oh yeah, lots and lots of butterflies around, flushing around all over the place. Nice butterfly now. one down on the flocks down there. Hopefully we should be able to go down onto those. Yep, there's actually two there right now as we as we speak. On the flocks. And if we pan around here the scabious, there's another butterfly on there. In fact, there's two butterflies on that scabious now. And then we look on to the, the strands here, we've got bees, all sorts, feed in there. Two honey bees as we speak on there. If you can see those, but this is going to zoom in, that doesn't like to zoom too much. Just take that out a little bit so you can see the bees. And then we're pan it around slowly. Try and get onto those two butterflies. There they are. Look at that. Absolutely fabulous. Really are butterflies everywhere today in this garden. And uh, I think it's a testament to that. We've got another one land here. We've got three really close by. It's a testament to the the plants we grow here. The key to any good butterfly garden is getting plants that are really, really nectar rich. And actually, we have, uh, I think it's a gatekeeper down there. See if we can get onto it for you. There you go. There's the uh, butterflies you got here. I think that's even Meadow Brown a gatekeeper. I'm pretty sure that one's the. Uh, of all sorts and then we just move around straight onto another small tortoise shell and uh, then we move around and there's just life everywhere in the garden so here we're going to zoom out get a broader picture as you can see as we as we take this the butterflies are flittering around all over the place as we walk round, there's more and more butterflies arriving. And they're absolutely everywhere. Down on the ground. And of course, 
one of the things on the ski bus, particularly like ski bus is uh, going over a little bit now, but you can see there's butterflies flickering around, going from plant to plant, flower to flower. Oh, I think we just move around, excuse my shadow. We've got more and more butterflies coming as we speak, absolutely everywhere. You can see the gardens virtually littered, alive with butterflies. And there we are. Again, two more small tortoise shells. More coming in as we speak. The bees are going into the forest clubs. That's amazing. What a shame that Springwatch didn't film today. Because I think Martin would have been absolutely covered in butterflies. And as you see, I'm just going to leave the camera on this bush and we can, on the stretch, and we can literally watch the butterflies coming and going all around us. That's interesting, we've got a leaf miner bee down there. He's flown off unfortunately. Let's get back to our butterflies. There they go. And we're watching the butterflies on the uh, plants here, but let's look at the grass because we've got butterflies all over the lawn as well. Everywhere we look, there's butterflies. There's another one there. I think if we come back across, we should hopefully pick up another one, yep, there's another one, and then we get back up onto the plants, and we've got another one there, another one hiding in behind there, and then let's come round here, onto this stretch here, we've got a drone fly or a hover fly of some sort there, it's easy to film it in this wind on a little camera like this. More pollinators there. And look at these butterflies now, they're virtually queuing up here. Virtually queuing up to get into these nectar rich flowers. Which really proves the point that you need to stand in the garden centre, watch what's landing on the flowers, and try and pick these flowers which are rich in nectar. Really, really rich in pollen nectar. And then you can fill your garden with beautiful butterflies, bees, hoverflies, all sorts of pollinators. Because let's not forget, pollinators aren't about bees and butterflies. They're about a lot of the other beetles that come as well. A lot of the flower beetles that come onto the flowers and rub against the pollen, feed on it. I think we most associate butterflies and bees with pollination. But there's actually lots and lots of insects and as you can clearly see from this, these flowers really do attract all these lovely pollinators. And there we go, we've got a I think it's a drone fly or some sort, or is it a honeybee? Really difficult to tell sometimes. You do get tuned into them after a while. I think that's probably a drone fly. Even some, whatever it is, it's pollinating our flowers. Doing a great job for nature. And this is interesting, let's go down here onto the grass. Let's see if we can get in on that. There's, there's a bee there. So we can find out. Just, I just miss me going around. Going around and going from flower to flower. Just getting pollen out of the flowers, daisies and clover on the lawn. And this is the reason why we don't cut the lawn too short. We leave a bit to let the clover grow and it all provides this fantastic habitat, this 
fantastic source of nectar and pollen for all these beautiful, beautiful insects. There you go. I think that's uh, going to be Piggy signing out. So, from a very, very sunny North Somerset, we'll catch you next time. Cheers.